Hello everybody, this is Lewis Kilby and welcome to the eChain Technology channel. It's been a while since I've posted a video and we had a request recently from a client who's interested in reading and writing from the high power USB desktop reader that we feature. You'll see it on your screen. And it's $225, it's a great deal. And what we're going to show you today is reading and writing to the EPC tag ID as also to the user bank which is typically not accessed, uh, but there are cases where it's important to do that, and we're going to show you how. The reader application comes with the reader, does not require additional purchase. It's connected right now to the USB port. I think we're connected to COM11. We're going to hit connect. You'll notice we get the connect message at the bottom. You can press get to get your firmware version. Now what we're going to do is we're going to read a tag and we've got a couple of different ways of writing the tags in this system. But what we're going to do with this one is I'm going to show you kind of this access write tag tab here, which is uh, read tags and it's the fourth tab over. But let's start by reading the, the inventory. We'll refresh the screen. So we've got zero tags in the buffer. We'll start, uh, click the inventory button. The reader is now searching and it's already found this tag because it's within 10 or 12 feet of the reader. But I'm gonna put it really close. Uh, the EPC does end in 7061 and I'm gonna stop it. So all you need to do is read it long enough so that the tag ID is in the buffer. We'll come over here to access right tag and we'll select that tag from the list. Notice it's the same one, D1 and select. Now, you'll notice that the checkbox selected tag matches, right? What we're going to do is we're going to, for instance, we're going to look at the EPC ID and we're going to read it. So the default is start AdWords 00. Actually, when you load this software, it's going to start with uh, your word 02. And this is all in the instruction manual. And we're going to read six words. You'll notice that when we do this, We've got the EPC. This is your results screen down here. You'll see the EPC ID starting with E2 ending in 76D1. It's a hexadecimal, 24 characters. You'll notice the data that we've read, D1. Now, if we want to read fewer characters, we can drop this and say 4. And when we read, you'll notice that we're only getting the four first uh, four couplets, right? So these four characters equal a word. So E2004, uh, 4084, 39, uh, 14. And from this screen, this is how we would actually write and change and overwrite basically the EPC tag ID. Now, what I'm going to do, let me go back to six. You'll notice that reading six, a length of six gives us our 24 characters. Now, this particular exercise is going to read the user bank. So the user memory bank is a different location on the chip itself, on the RFID chip. And so we can get that information by selecting user. We'll want to make a change here to our start and start it at position 00. And we'll read six, a character, length of six, we'll read. And you'll notice now that the EPC is still the same. We're still getting that as kind of a control. But we'll see that the data that's currently in that in that user bank is a bunch of zeros. And that's to be expected. Now, you'll notice that I've preloaded some information here. It's uh, basically 24 zeros. And to overwrite the data in the user bank, uh, first of all, if I may, uh, I'm going to explain a little bit about this user bank. Is some and, and, and it's based on the chipset and the tags itself. Some allow you to have more, to write more information. So in some, some tags, the user bank is, is more characters and some it's fewer. Uh, I think you're pretty safe uh, with this amount, right? With uh, your 24 characters. But, uh, you know, you can always experiment if you need more. But I would say to be safe, probably stick with this as your maximum. So we can do something as simple as this, right? We can change this. 
let's just call the last uh, the last uh, character here 11. Just do one final check. We're set on the user bank uh, position, and we're going to basically rewrite that entire data set with this thing ending with two zeros. We hit write. And now we'll read it again. And you'll notice that now when it reads it from the tag, we've got 11 at the end. So you can overwrite several of these. Make sure that you're staying within the hex uh, hexadecimal um, range. Uh, 00, 11, 01, 11, 00, 00, 00. How many do we have? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 24, right? 24. Something like that. We can write it, read it. And you'll now notice that what we've done is we've rewritten the user bank with this information, AABB 0011011. Anyway, you see where we're going? Uh, using this application, you can you know, change the EPC ID, you can lock the tag, you can do, you can kill the tag. So you can do certain things. Uh, it's very flexible. Uh, on another video, we show you, this is a kind of a, a write tag uh, where we're write, overwriting the EPC and it's a little bit of an easier application or a different functionality. But this is focused primarily on overwriting the EPC IDs, whereas this one gives you more control to overwrite the other IDs as well. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for listening and hope to uh, join you again real soon with another video. Thanks.